I'm back, Mom. This is what you needed, right? Yep, that's it. Oh, now I've got what I need to finish the machine. <laughs> Thanks. So, how are Chi-Chi and her dad doing? They're fine, but they still seem like they're struggling with Gohan's death. If I can find some time, I should probably try to visit them occasionally. Right. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. It would be great to head to the past and help create a world where Gohan and the others are still alive. I sure wish I could at least take the androids out now and bring peace to our world. Sure, that would certainly help us here, but we don't have what it takes to pull that off right now. That's why we need you to go to the past and save Goku. That'll hopefully change everything we need to help us here. I mean, better than letting the androids continue to toy with you, right? Even if it is another world, there should be a future without the androids somewhere. Come on, you've got to give it a shot. It, you're right. Trunks, I finally did it! Thanks to your help, I was finally able to finish my work on the time machine! Really? I should be able to charge up enough energy for a round trip pretty soon. Twenty years into the past ought to be possible. This thing takes about eight months to charge, so I can't really run any tests. I think you'll still be good to make it back here safely, though. I would have been able to create a much more reliable machine if my lab hadn't been destroyed. <sighs> Mom, I think I'm strong enough to beat the androids now. We won't have to risk a trip to the past. Oh, Trunks, not this again. I'm serious. I'm confident. I have what it takes now. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news on the android threat. The androids have been spotted wreaking havoc in the vicinity of West City. That's close. Wait a minute, Trunks. Don't you even think about it. I'm heading over there. I can't let them keep doing this. Trunks, stop! Do not go fight them! Given my training, I should be even stronger now than Gohan was. Today's the day I avenge everyone they murdered. Just you wait, androids! I just need to believe in myself. I can do this. The androids don't scare me anymore.
The struggle ends today. That might be more than I can handle. There's no point traveling to the past if nothing here will change. Even this town wasn't safe. If I take out the androids now, I won't have to go to the past. Hey, Seventeen. I think we killed everyone here. Let's head back. Good call. All right, you monsters. The killing stops today. You're going to pay for what you did to Gohan. Hmm, it's the brat again. Still hasn't learned his lesson, huh? You don't know when to give up. I hate that. It's been three years since you murdered Gohan. I spent that time getting better so I can kill you. I'm done hiding from you. You two are finished. Better, huh? Hate to break it to you, but it still might be enough to stop us. You're not very bright if you really think you can win now. No use! Get! 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 
Now for the finisher! Here's Tom! There's no escaping this!
sure you know just how terrifying we are. Goodbye, yo. Not bad. Your bot looks like you're still all talk at this point. Let's see if I can get this. Now you get out of here. What? Here it comes. Down you go. Get out of here. Now for the finisher. Here it comes. I did it! I finally did it! What? Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you a little credit. You are actually stronger. But your attacks are too predictable. You're just gonna tire yourself out, little guy. <clears throat> no! This can't be happening! What? We're... Though critically wounded, Trunks managed to survive, and in five days' time, he awakened. His fight made him acutely aware of his shortcomings, so he decided to take Bulma's advice and travel to the past. All set. Remember, you absolutely have to give Goku his heart medication. And be careful, okay? Right. You too, Mom. I'm counting on you, Trunks. Okay. Wish me luck. And so, Trunks journeyed to the past, dispatching Frieza and his men with ease, and meeting a younger Vegeta and Bulma, as well as their friends. Shortly thereafter, Goku arrived on Earth. Trunks informed him of the events set to take place in three years' time, and gave him the heart medication. Still hopeful his actions in the past would improve his world, Trunks made his way back to his mother in the future. I'm back, Mom! Welcome home, Trunks! The time machine hold up okay? Yeah. I was able to meet Goku and give him the medication. Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't able to run any tests on the machine, so I was worried it might malfunction. Then again, a genius like me doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> so, did you happen to meet anyone else? I did. I met a younger you and Gohan, as well as Krillin. And father too, of course. Oh, you met a younger me. Well, what did you think? I was a looker, wasn't I? I mean, that hasn't changed, of course. I yeah. 
she trusted me right away. I'm guessing it's because she sensed some sort of connection with me. Uh, huh. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, right. I didn't have much of a choice. So, you said you met Vegeta, huh? He was a real pain. I bet he gave you one heck of a hard time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say he was a pain, but he was definitely intimidating. I could tell he had a strong sense of pride. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He was pretty standoffish, so I didn't get to talk to him much. Which is good, I guess. I couldn't let him find out who I am. But I was glad I finally got to meet him. So he really was a difficult person then. Uh, kind of. But he wasn't always so cold to everyone, you know. Oh yeah? I'm sure I would have learned that if I'd had more time with him. Anyway, all that's left to do is wait for the androids to show up there and go provide support. I wonder how Goku and the others are going to fight the androids. I hope they can find a way to beat them. Okay, I'll start getting the time machine in working order again and charge up some energy for another round trip. It'll take some time, though. So make sure you're good and ready for the trip. Right, will do. I'll use the time it takes to charge up the machine to train myself up for the fight ahead. Restore our home to what it used to be. Nice if the time machine finished. Are you good to go? The machine still needs a bit of time to charge, so. The machine's finally got enough energy for another round trip. Now you can go back and help the others. I hope they're all safe. I'm sure they are. Maybe they've already defeated the androids and brought peace back to the world. If that's the case, it might be nice to bring the others back here with me. The time machine only has room for one person. But I can totally see the others cramming their way in anyway. Goku would jump at the chance to take on more powerful opponents. <laughs> You're right. Based on what I saw of him, he would probably be excited to come here. But if they haven't defeated the androids, you're planning on joining in on the fight, aren't you? Just be careful, okay? Don't get yourself killed. I won't. And you stay safe too, Mom. I'll make it back in one piece. I can't rest until our world is at peace too. And so, Trunks made his way back to the past. 
Little did he realize that waiting for him there were two completely different androids, as well as less ruthless, but still dangerous androids 17 and 18. And to make matters worse, Cell, a bio-android far deadlier than the other androids, had appeared and threatened all life on Earth. But thanks to Goku and the others' training, as well as Gohan's transformation into something beyond that of a Super Saiyan, Cell was defeated. With peace now restored in the past, Trunks returns to the future, more experienced and determined to save his world. Mom, I'm back. Welcome home, Trunks. Wait just a minute. Look at you. They say kids grow up fast, but this is ridiculous. I trained in a special place called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. It's on Kami's lookout. One year inside is only a day on the outside. Not really sure how that works, but at any rate, I'm just glad you're back and doing okay. So, did everything work out? That look on your face tells me it did. It did. Oh, so Goku still ended up dying in the end. Well, at least Gohan was able to avenge him. Yeah. Oh, and you were right about Father. He wasn't just a cold-hearted person after all. Huh? When I first saw him fight, I honestly thought he was just a ruthless, selfish person. You know what I mean? If you and baby me were ever in danger, he didn't try to...